Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we're going to do some basic string formatting. We're going to do it the old fashioned way, which is a bit harder, and we're going to do it the new Python 3 way. Not free way, but 3, Python 3 way, uh, which is a lot easier. So I'm going to give you some examples here. So I'm going to do people, let's have a look, people at home okay so people at home is equal to 10 people at home in the house uh, let's have a look so let's start off with the first function define people <clears throat> in house so people at home or people in the house so this is what I'm going to call this function people in the house okay so uh we're just going to print and format people in the house so i'm going to print let's have a look there there are and then i'm going to put some braces here in the house Okay, and uh, I'm just going to enclose that there. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do is we're going to put a dot here and we're going to click, not click, we're going to type in format. Okay, and put some braces here. People at home. <clears throat> okay, just close that off there. So, people at home so hopefully we're going to print out how many people are at home in there so i'm just going to save that save as run the program oh dear do you know what i've done i've not called the function hey so you should always call the function so the function is people in house people in house okay we're going to save that and that's going to call this function so let's run the program again there we go so there are 10 in the house like we did here so 10 people in the house okay we're going to create the next function now so we're going to call it kids <coughs> in School. Okay, kids in school is equal to something like uh, 200. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to create another function. So I'm going to call it uh, kids at school. Kids at school. Okay, so this is kids at school. Uh, I'm going to do it the easy way or the more modern way in Python 3 to format this uh, string here. So I'm going to put F at the beginning and then I'm going to <coughs> close it up like that. And then I'm going to say there are. And then I've got to do the braces again. But in the braces, I've got to put kids in school. So kids in school so I've got to enter that in there I actually like this method of formatting because it's a lot simpler than the other ways that I've been showing you here and uh, it's relatively relatively new in Python 3 okay we'll just finish off this sentence kids not kidders <laughs> kidders can't get a kidder okay kids in school today right kids in school today okay so what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna to have to call that function as well so that function is called kids <coughs> in school okay we'll just save that and uh, we'll call that function as well so here we go run module okay INT error. So let's check out what the error is here at line one. Okay, folks, did you notice the error? Well, I called it as kids in school when I should have called it as 
kids at school and there's a missing C there okay so it should be kids at school this is why I say when you write your code write a little bit and test it so you can pick up your errors instead of writing a, a full page of code and then having to go through all your errors okay so that should run okay now okay so there you go <clears throat> so there are 200 kids in school today uh, there you go that sentence there okay and uh, we're going to do the last one here last format which is basically similar to the one above and that's going to be define money in bank define money in bank okay let's have a look and um, what we're going to do is we're going to format the string but we're going to format it in uh, <coughs> so it comes out as a decimal as a floating number so I'm going to put money <coughs> in bank money in bank and I'm going to put account that is equal to and I'm going to put 10 there which is going to be a tenner or 10 pounds okay so let's uh, I'm going to create a variable here called message I'm going to make this message equal to a message Okay, so I'm going to say there is, and then we're going to do our brackets again, and then we're going to format it uh, so we can read it like a decimal. So we're going to do to an F there, which is float. Okay, so we're going to do that. Uh, and then we're just going to do the rest of the message, which is in my bank account in my bank account and uh, put a sad face there so we're gonna do that in my bank account so we're gonna have to call that again and let's not make the same mistake as I did uh, with the function above it so we're gonna call it as money in bank money in bank Okay, so it'll call it as that function, money in bank. Okay, let's just uh, save that there and run the program. Okay, right. <laughs> it's not run because I've uh, I've not told uh, <coughs> the function to print it out. So print, and this is how we're going to do message dot format and then we're gonna have to say money in bank account money in bank account okay so that's the amount that I've got in my bank account uh, it should format it into a decimal number, so we'll just uh, save again and we'll just run this program. There you go. Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie. So there is £10 in my bank account and it's been formatted in a floating form there. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed it, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs up anyway. And remember to hit that subscribe button below. It'll really help the channel out and uh, I'll be able to produce more videos like this. So I'll catch you in another video. Bye-bye.